this is our mounting board right here for our noggin. We're also gonna have that water softener installed right here. And then that oil furnace is gonna be converted to a liquid, a liquid propane, high efficiency. It's gonna look so much better when it's done, okay? All right, good morning, good morning, everyone. So today is our second day for this project here. Okay, um, see, we started this on Tuesday. So we did a bypass there and stuff like that. Just so we have some water pressure going through our Navian. Okay, this one is converted to liquid propane. And, you know, just get that going so they can put the tank and all of that so today we're gonna be finishing that up so they'll have hot water and then this furnace here for a new one okay right there okay so I will gonna be making a time-lapse just so everybody can see how the process go so for our new customer whoever you are you're gonna see what to expect if you have an oil furnace right now wanted it to be converted to propane or natural gas, this video is for you. So basically we built our frame for it to get another extra inches, you know, for that 1800 CFM. This one is more than 1800 CFM, so we are required, but if you don't get more than 800 CFM, you don't have to do any of this extra strap, extra stuff. That's why it's in the book. If you're gonna follow it, you just not gonna follow it. Okay? So we're gonna continue the time lapse. So far what we have, okay, this is the new one here, and then the old one here, okay, look at how we got this, it's full of soot, okay, I don't want to deal with it, but look how much soot is in here, see that, so much soot, so that's what happens when you don't do a tune-up, and nobody using a combustion analyzer to make sure you have a, a perfect combustion, especially the carbon um, dioxide and carbon monoxide. You know, efficiency is almost like always 80% for this type of oil furnace, but those combustion, the air, all of that stuff, make sure they're good so they don't soak up like that. So let's see, um, the, other, the other company showed up here they said that there was a crack in the heat exchanger. Okay, so let's see where it is. There's very less chances that this would have a leak in it. Okay, because they're very tough, but most of the time they're just not being tuned up properly. So even like the air and fuel mixture, you adjust the air in it too much you're gonna have like 2,000 2, parts per million, 3,000, you know, in your combustion. So you have to make sure that the people that is actually doing the work for the tune-up is actually honest. They have to be honest. Um, he said that the guy that came here do the inspection, they have a camera and show him the crack of the heat exchanger. But looking at it, it doesn't seem like there's any. Okay, um, I'm gonna ask him to see where that people said, but a lot of times this type of stuff, they're just not really being tuned up. So there's a nozzle here, and it's a day, it's a day. Okay, so a lot of times, so we're looking here, this is a burner here, okay, 
that's the, the oil right here and this is the air intake here so there's number here those are for the air adjustment so when you <laughs> look at it so they did not tighten up this thing here okay when you don't tighten this up and you get so much air or less air your co2 is going to be going crazy and the carbon monoxide is also going to go crazy so when you do a tune-up you're supposed to tighten this up so nobody accidentally adjusts this thing but see this is so loose so, so loose so looks like that's the issue there that's why there's so much soot in the pipe okay okay so this is what we have here see how much full of soot here so that big boy company saying that they have a crack heat exchanger but not really it's just not being tuned up properly so over time they've been adding up higher co2 when your co2 is very high like 13 percent or higher that really so much and producing all this unburned oil those are unborn unburned oil and it will produce so much high carbon monoxide level so you have to make sure when you hire a service tech for oil furnace make sure that they, they are very honest they have those combustion analyzer some old folks use those uh, smoke tests but i use combustion analyzer make sure the co2 is good co uh, carbon monoxide level is good and the efficiency and all of that and make sure to check the flue pipe especially on those uh, barometric damper you'll know from the get-go if it has a lot of soot or not and you also can see the smoke coming out if it's clear you don't see smoke then you're good but this been running with smoke in it okay so you can observe that everything all the places here has soot everywhere okay all right guys thanks Everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be. So I told myself, I'm a be a singer, I'm a play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe. Yeah, but then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be all right with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a tether for my bus pass, too. I wish I could go back and tell myself that. Okay, what we have so far, look, it's two hours of work, me and JJ, man, and thank you, Dad. I know you're always watching. You're my number one fan. So that's how you convert the gas valve. You basically change all the nozzle. Okay, you, you buy the conversion kit, which is this one. Okay, propane conversion kit. It has everything in it. Um, it's a two-stage system. So there's a high fire and low fire, low stage and high stage. And then you basically, from natural gas, it has a big hole like this. And for the propane, Uh, look at the whole of it see so you have to convert that because propane has higher pressure if you keep using this natural gas hole it's too much okay so you want this one and then you just swap it out and then um put a pressure switch here so if it's a low pressure means there's no pressure in the tank because it's empty it will shut down the gas okay and then yeah, and then you just change the high and low spring um, temporarily because we're not hooked up yet. I just spin it uh, 11 revolution because based on experience, every time we spin them to 11 revolution, they're like very close to what we wanted and then adjust it accordingly using a combustion analyzer. Okay, so that's how you change the, the natural gas to propane. Mm -hmm.
this is our reading outside. Okay. That's our reading outside. That's on a one stage right now. Okay. So I'm just waiting for it to go in high stage so and we'll see how what's the number. So we still need to install a whole house humidifier. Okay. Um, need to connect the air conditioning, connect that to here. And then get the air intake for both Navian and water heater. And then, yeah, everything's good. What we got so far, we need to put more straps in it, obviously. And that will get into the drain. So either A, I might go over here and put a T somewhere here. Or B in the top of there. Cut it out, put like a slip coupling. There we have a slip coupling. But better off just over here like that right there I can talk to that uh, inch and a half uh, male adapter same thing as they're doing like that it's like a p-trap okay well, I will be going over there like have a thingy for the clean out in my trap just go all the way over there okay should be good now so far, that's what we have. Busy, busy, busy working. Okay, that's our finished product. So if you watched the last video on the second day, you saw how it looks like before and that's what our finished product is. So to our future customer, you see what you're gonna get, okay? 
We have the best competitive price with a quality install. We're very proud of our every single install. We check everything with detail to make sure everything's running perfectly. Okay? Thank you.